Hey guys, it's Margaret with Days Well Spent, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to prepare a marinade for beef fajitas using a Scheinerbach beer. What you're going to need is two tablespoons of lime juice, a jalapeno or a serrano pepper minced up, and then you're going to need a tablespoon of garlic powder, chili powder, ground black pepper, and salt. You're going to need three-fourths of a cup of vegetable oil, and then you're going to need six ounces of Scheinerbach beer, and that's going to be a half of a bottle. Then you're also going to need either a canning jar to mix it in, or a glass bowl. We're going to begin by adding the half a beer, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, the seasoning mixture, three-fourths of a cup of vegetable oil, and finally the pepper. I'm using a jalapeno pepper, but you can use a milder or a hotter pepper if you prefer. Lid on and just give it a quick shake. Make sure everything gets mixed in. So you want to take either a glass dish that you have a lid for, or you can use a Ziploc type bag. We're going to place our fajita meat in there, and we're using skirt steak. And this is about two and a half pounds. We're going to take the marinade after it's been well mixed. We're going to pour it into the bag or into whatever container you're using. Just want to make sure that you're not using anything that's reactive, such as an aluminum pan to marinate in. Mix this around so that all of the meat is covered. I'm going to kind of spread it out. You want to refrigerate this for at least 12 hours, but you can go up to 24 hours. So we'll pick the video up tomorrow when we're ready to put this on the grill. Okay guys, so it is the next day. Our fajita meat's been marinating for right at 24 hours. Now before you grill your fajita meat, you wanna make sure that you have everything else ready that you're going to need to cook or have ready for when the meat is done. So I've got my peppers and onions already washed and sliced up. Got some lettuce ready and my pico de gallo is gonna go sit in the refrigerator for a little bit longer, let those flavors melt together. If you're looking for a great pico de gallo recipe, we do have that over on our blog. So we're out there, we're getting the grill all heated up. We're gonna start our peppers and onions first because they take a little bit longer than that uh, flank steak does. So everything that needs to be cold is in the refrigerator. Scott's got the vegetables out there and I've got the meat. What I'm gonna do is go ahead, remove it from the bag. You want your grill to be a medium high heat and we're gonna grill it for six minutes on each side. Okay, I did wanna make a side note about that marinade. Make sure that you don't put it down the drain because remember, there is a lot of oil in here. There was like three-fourths of a cup of oil, so you wanna make sure that you dispose of that without putting it down the drain. Okay, we got that on a preheated grill. And again, we're gonna do six minutes each side. You don't need to flip it around or anything like that. Just let it cook for the six minutes. Flip each piece, let it cook for another six minutes. Okay guys, so our meat's cooked six minutes on both sides. What I'm gonna do is just lightly tint it with some foil, and we're gonna let it rest for about 10 minutes. Then we'll slice it up and enjoy our fajitas. All right, so the fajitas rested for 10 minutes. We've got them all sliced up and we're ready to eat. If you guys have any questions about this Scheinerbach marinade or grilling fajitas, let me know down in the comments section and I'm happy to answer them. Please, if you enjoyed the video, we'd love it if you give us a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. And as always, be sure to visit Days Well Spent, where you're gonna find lots of great recipes, helpful tips for gardening, and lots of urban homesteading ideas.